You're watching the Fox 5 Morning News at 7. Check these babies out. Not quite your average motorcycle. Uh -uh. Here to show us some of his gems from Alchemy Motorcycle is Mitchell Valle. Man, oh man. I don't know, something about, I can't pick between the beautiful, this is like a navy blue with the leather, or this gray beast. Mitchell, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for bringing these things. These are beautiful. Uh, what kind of bikes do we have here, first of all? This is uh, great. We have some vintage Hondas. This is a 78 uh, Honda CB550 um, that I completely customized. Took it all the way down to the nuts and bolts and chromed everything. So you, you took this down and then built it back up and you, exactly. the color scheme is awesome. Oh, thank you. Is that you. your idea? I yeah. love the look of that. Yeah, that's kind of a play on my company, Alchemy Motorcycles. Nice. Uh, right now it's you know monochromed and stuff, but yeah. you know, when the sun comes out, there's a gold pearl in there and it oh, wow. really pops like crazy, yeah. Where did you get this passion to do this kind of stuff? I'm always fascinated by that kind of thing. Um, I've always been kind of a hands-on guy and yeah. a creative guy and I just didn't really find anything that I really yeah. attach myself to and then uh, I just built one bike and it's well okay. Okay, let's get to this other one. This is a beauty too. Ooh, I think, I think I'm gonna, you can have that one. That's your baby right there. <laughs> yeah. I'll stick with the nice brown leather seat. Talk to me about this one. So this is 64, uh, a 64 CB 64? Yeah. Wow. And uh, again, completely taken apart. Yep. Everything's chromed out on it, uh, motor rebuilt, and uh, just customized a few things and the exhaust. Um, uh, just cleaned up the whole bike itself. She went for a minimalistic look. Okay, and what is this like? What is, what is this material? Uh, so this look is this. Uh, deer suede. Deer suede? Yeah. What if it rains, Mitchell? Yeah. Come on now. Well, it's all right. I okay, don't mind so you it. put I don't this mind together? Yeah, I put this together. It's actually almost a similar bike as this yeah. one. and. Um, uh, just a different tank, the setup and everything. This is going to be a track bike for next okay. year's vintage racing. Cool, cool. And finally? And this is an SL125, a 72 that I'm building for a customer out in Hawaii. And uh, it's just a full restoration that I Okay, I was going to ask what makes them different, but obviously each and one of these bikes is very unique because yeah. you put your touch on it. So do, do the customers ask for certain things or they just want a Mitchell special and they say, you know what? I give you carte blanche, do whatever you want with it. Yeah, I kind of get it all over the gamut. Um, just, uh, I get people like uh, my friend Nick here, he just yeah. gave me the project and just said, go with the flow, and I so, kind of tailor the bikes to the So customer. that's for your friend, if that, he wanted yeah. something like that? Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's so nice. And these can be, these are like ready to go on the road and everything else? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because they're like pieces of art. Yeah, do people you. want to, or just keep them in the garage Actually, and stare I've, at them the whole time? I built a few bikes where customers yeah. just uh, take the gas out and they put them in front of their fireplaces. Ah, I love that, that's right. pretty, to stare at it. To yeah, Beautiful thing. I don't mind. Okay, the average price, like if I say I want something like this, do you go uh -huh. out and find a 64 and then you just kind of do the work or how do I go about that and how much does it cost? Um, a little bit of everything. I'll sure. sometimes have projects myself. I own about 30 bikes that I have wow. in line to do projects on or if someone is looking for something specific, then I'll help them find it. We'll build it together. Dude, that's um, awesome. This one's about $10,000 for the Navy Blue CB160. Uh, and that's not that bad for like a truly classic motorcycle. No, not been, at all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, something like the CB550, there's a lot more fabrication yeah. work done on it. Sure, and the sure. custom And about $5,000 worth of chrome on it. So this is about $25,000. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, you know, here's what's cool. Uh, your shop is in Barrio Logan. Mm -hmm. So the question, how long have you guys been there, by the way? We just opened in November. Okay. So why choose Barrio Logan? Because I know it's been up and coming. The last couple of years, yeah. a lot of businesses and residential yeah. kind of make that neighborhood uh, come yeah, back actually, to life, really. It actually took about a year to yeah. finally find a spot that we, good, we good, wanted good. to be in and, and uh, it's, it's been great. The, the culture has been amazing. Good for you, man. Uh, talk to me about the event going on uh, because that's cool. Sure. We're, uh, uh, we'll be at uh, Parks and Rec uh, up in uh, University Heights okay. on Thursday night at 7 p.m. Perfect. And there's going to be some DJs, li uh, live art, and uh, obviously I'll have my bikes out there too. It's going to be a lot of fun right there, 4612 Park Boulevard. Those are, doors open at 7 o'clock, $5 cover. You get to check out one. Maybe you can take one home. Yeah. Maybe you could yeah. put in the order. Yeah. What yeah. can you do with my old 1985 Honda Spree scooter that I used to have when I was like 12 or 13? <laughs> can you customize that for me? Yeah, I can do anything. Mitchell, thank you, man. All right, thank Keep you very much.